Hey everyone, so I have another updated foundation, contouring, highlighting video for you. I felt the need to do an updated one again, so here it is. I am using the Revlon Color Stay and the Caramel Foundation, so these are the two. Um, I use kind of half and half of each, you can tell that there's a big difference between the two shades. I use half and half. This is how I do my foundation routine, this is for when I'm going out and filming and stuff. So you don't have to copy each step, um, I feel personally that each step is necessary for me but if you feel like you need to omit some steps then do so. This isn't the how to do your foundation contour and highlighting routine, this is how I do mine so if you want to adapt yours, adapt yours to mine then go ahead and do so but um, I wouldn't say you have to stick to this routine but this has always worked for me and I'll probably keep doing this for a while. The sun's out today so I'm having a mixture of lighting. I will list everything I use in the description box so if you don't catch it, quite catch in the video, it will be in the description box as usual, so please check that. And yeah, nothing has really changed, just my foundations I'm mixing. Instead of using the um, Makeup Forever HD with the Cappuccino, I'm using both Revlon um, foundations, but in two different shades. My skin's getting a lot better. It's not there yet, but it's, get, it's gradually getting there, so... Um, that's great. So I hope you like it. If you want to see how I achieve my foundation and contour and highlighting routine, then keep watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Hey guys, so for those who have been nosy to want to see what it looks like without makeup and for those who are new to my channel, as you can see my face, I suffer from hyperpigmentation. So my face is slightly, well significantly darker than my chest and my neck. So um, I'm undergoing treatment right now but I'm not quite there yet, I still have a bit to go. So I have to mix my foundation and try and match it to my neck. Um, my chest is significantly lighter so I tried just to, just to match it to my neck so anyway I just mixed the Revlon Cappuccino and Caramel shades together the Color Stay foundation and I'm using the um, Sedona Lace brush I'm not quite sure what this is called but I'll put the name in the description box it's a really nice brush for buffing in um, liquid foundation it works really really well really nice and soft and it doesn't leave any streak lines or anything so I really like this brush I chose this brush simply because my Real Techniques buffer brush, both of them are quite dirty so um, they take a, a while to dry so I couldn't use this for the video so this was a really good alternative and then yeah so I'm just buffing into my skin, my forehead, well, my mouth and my cheeks areas are the areas that are quite dark so I tend to focus on those areas quite a lot, quite a bit. I also have acne scarring and stuff on my cheeks so I try to cover all that part up. Um, so I'm just blending in everything around my mouth, my nose, my cheek, everywhere pretty much. Down the middle, the bridge of my nose, I will blend out my concealer which I use to um, shape my brows later on when I apply my face concealer. showing you that my neck and my chest are still is still quite light so than my face but I wouldn't go for my chest shade because I would be an NC shade so I just take it down my neck and just a little bit slightly down my chest but normally I wear like shirts and stuff so they do tend to cover my chest so I wouldn't need to do this part but I do tend to apply foundation to my neck as well Okay, so I'm going to use my concealer, this is the Select Cover Up by MAC using this fluffy blending brush by Sigma and I'm going to apply that to my under eye, around my mouth area, around my cheeks where my scarring are and my forehead. <laughs> I don't 
tend to apply foundation to my lids because they interfere with my eyeshadows. So I tend to leave that area bare. But I will blend out the um, my brow bone area where, my, where the concealer is. But yeah, I would normally leave that bit bare and just apply my primer and my eyeshadows. Just going back with that foundation brush and just stippling in some more of that concealer to my cheeks. As you can see, there are some darker marks there. It's a lot more visible in person, but yeah, there are a lot of like acne marks and acne scars. So I'm just blending out my the concealer that I use for my brows because you don't want to have that halo look going on so make sure they're blended out as well using my NW45 I'm just going to apply some more to my forehead and still pull that in with the foundation brush I'm just going to use a gold shade from the 120 palette for my brow bone highlight. I absolutely love this as a highlight colour. It just really stands out the darker skin tones. And as you can see, my lids are left bare. I've only applied the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm only going to apply a crease colour to my eyes. This is a perfect look for like a everyday Wear. So the brown shade from the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette was using a blending brush. I'm just going to apply that to my crease, as you can see. So my natural lid colour is acting as my lid colour, basically. Blend, blend, blend. I really need to get some more sleep, as you can see. Um, but don't worry, we will cover that later on. So I'm just going to use my gel liner, I absolutely love this gel liner. This is the Wet n Wild gel liner and I'm using an angle brush, I'm just going to apply that to my top lash line. I would normally do this without um, before I apply my lashes but seeing as I didn't really do much to my eyes, I decided to apply my lashes um, before I did this look. So just doing a slight winged line, it's an amazing gel liner, I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a really nice gel liner. I'm just going to line my waterline using the MUA eyeliner pencil in jet black, but I'm only taking it two thirds of the way, not so not into my tear duct area, just taking it two thirds of the way because I'm going to apply another eyeshadow to that area. My Literally my go-to eyeshadow for my Tay Ducks area. I absolutely love this shadow. And it's the MAC All That Glitters eyeshadow. Using a flat shader brush, applying that to my inner Tay Ducks and a third of the way. Gives a nice bright look. And also gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. This is the Maybelline Colossal Express Mascara. Absolutely amazing for lengthening your lashes. So I'm just gonna do that. my under eye concealer I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 30 and the MAC Studio Finish concealer in NW40 so I'm going to use both of them I tend to use both because the Maybelline concealer is a light coverage concealer and the MAC one is a full coverage but the MAC one tends to crease but a mixture of the two really adds a nice under eye brightened look so I like to mix both Applying it down my nose and also on top of my forehead as well. I'm using the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush and I'm just basically tapping that into under my eyes, not sweeping it across. This technique is a lot better for getting rid of the lines and any um, 
dents and under eye bags that you might have under your eyes and also taking that down my nose and also going to blend out the top of my forehead as well the technique also helps for good coverage under your eyes Now I'm adding the MAC Studio Finish Concealer for more coverage. I would normally take it down the sides of my nose so it would act as um, it sort of starts forming my nose for contouring so I wouldn't normally add a contour powder if I did this. As you can see my nose is already shaping up so I would take that down the sides of my nose and the inner corner of my eyes just to um, sort of shape my nose as you can see. Now I'm just going to blend that out and make sure there aren't any harsh lines and just give an even finish to my under eye, down my nose and also blending the top of my forehead as well. I'm just applying some of that concealer under my cheekbones. This is really optional but I felt like doing this. This is just to, it's good and it's just going to accentuate when I um, contour my cheekbones and add like a, it's just basically going to make it a lot more prominent so you don't have to do this but I felt this was just extra. I will blend that out later. This is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm gonna use that to set my under eye concealer using the fluffy blending brush. Also going to do a tapping motion. Not sweeping, I'd rather do the tapping motion. This really sets the uh, concealer a lot better than sweeping it across back and forth. making sure I get it around the sides of my nose as well. Taking it under my eyes just to set any lines that may have been created by the creasing of the concealer. Also taking it down my nose and also my T-zone area. Make sure you sweep off the excess after applying this. You don't want to have a white cast forming on your face. Now I'm just going to set my face with my face powder. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep using the Sigma Tapered Face Brush. I really like this brush because it really helps get into those corners of your face, the hard to reach areas. And I'm just going to apply in between the highlighted part and the rest of my face to make sure it's blended seamlessly. So you don't want to have like a obvious transition from the highlight to your actual face colour. So you want to make sure everything's blended really well and there aren't any harsh lines. So I'm also going to take it down my neck as well. Now I'm going to contour using my Sleek Face Contour Kit and a tapered brush. I'm going to contour my cheekbones. I'm going to do the fish face, you don't have to but yeah, just suck in your cheeks and just basically apply that to the to the hollows of your cheeks like so. Just gives a really nice chiseled look. I don't really need to do this but I like the more prominent cheekbones. make sure you also blend out that line you don't want to have a straight harsh line going down your face make sure it's blended inwards as well I'm also going to apply some to the temples of my forehead just to warm up my face now I'm 
gonna apply my Perfect Girl Bronzer and Ebony Bronze just to add a bit more warmth to my face. So applying that as my blush, as if I would apply a blush. Make sure you blend that inwards, blend that into your highlighted area but not too much so you lose the highlight. I'm just going back in the holes of my cheeks with my powder just to accentuate my cheekbones a bit more. Now I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Cork Lip Pencil in Cork. <laughs> um, this is my go-to brown lip pencil for nude and neutral shades, neutral lips. Just the outer corners of my lips and I'm going to use the MAC Touch Lipstick. It's a really nice nude brown shade. It's a luster finish so I don't have to apply lip gloss. And this is pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!